In this week's Master in a Minute, we're going to take a look at the Warp tool in Adobe Photoshop and see how you can add a realistic page curl to an image. Okay, so the first thing that you have to do with your image is you have to duplicate the background. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this background and take the original background and I am going to fill it with white. That way we have zero background behind when we actually turn the page. The next thing that we need to do is add kind of a gradient fill to the bottom left corner where our actual page turn will be. And I've already got some guides set up and we actually split our page into nine equal sections. Now I'm going to take my marquee tool and I'm going to go ahead on my actual image layer select this bottom right corner and make sure that you have the gradient tool selected and you want the black to white gradient and you're going to take the gradient tool draw it across the bottom corner this looks good we're getting there okay now I'm going to deselect this and the next element that I want to be able to access is the warp tool itself so if I select edit transform warp I get little handles across my page that I can pull any of these elements into a warp so I'm going to grab this bottom left corner look what happens this is pretty cool I'm going to go ahead and drag this page corner right up to about right here and then I select to apply the transform by clicking my check mark the next thing that I want to do is apply a drop shadow to this particular layer. So I select layer, layer style, blending options, and I'm going to select drop shadow. And I'm just going to change a couple of little adjustments here, like the size. And I'm going to go ahead and select OK. And you've just made a very realistic page curl in Photoshop using the warp tools and you've just mastered it in a minute.